welcome back to another video and I want to talk about again the potential trade of James Harden for Ben Simmons and is likely happening it's becoming a little bit more public a little bit more media attention on it and here we go I did make a video in the past just a couple days ago about this trade and why I believe it just doesn't work for the Sixers benefit I am a Sixers fan so I look at the team as, you know, I want the team to win, I want the team to come out of the East and just win a championship. You know, take advantage of the talent of Joel Embiid and win. But it is more prevalent now that James Harden is, you know, a little frustrated with Brooklyn and now seems like he's willing to be traded, willing to possibly go play with Joel Embiid. But James Harden's current salary is about $44 million per season, while Ben Simmons is $33 million. Now, I believe, and a lot of other people believe, that Ben Simmons' trade value is at an all-time low. With everything that's been going on, with the way the season ended last season, just over the summer and the season, and just, I think it's at an all-time low, not playing in any games, just kind of ghosting the entire team. But the Nets view a potential Simmons trade as a swap for Simmons and Harden, but it could also include players like Seth Curry, Tyrese Maxey, and, and Matisse Thibel. Now, Philly wants to keep Maxey, who is a young talent, they want to keep and is very cheap right now, and the team likes the offense and, and the energy that he brings to the team. I'm a big fan of Maxey, he has so many random outbursts of, of scoring and just being a part of that core team that I think can grow and they don't want to get rid of a young asset. Now, there's been some trade offers from the Hawks and, and the Minnesota Timberwolves, but Philly doesn't express too much interest in the Hawks deal, and I don't think the Timberwolves really came up with a lot of valuable assets for a player like Simmons. Now, it's good to note that, you know, Simmons is one player, and, you, and, the, and the Sixers need a point guard. And can you get that from the Hawks? Can you get that from the Timberwolves? And it just depends on draft picks, and it depends on players, and it depends on the salaries, too. Now, Harden seems to be frustrated with the situation in Brooklyn, with Kyrie being a part-time player, and the team just not doing well with Durant out. And James Harden is a very ball-dominant player, and the league is kind of shifting into a more free-flowing, high tempo, high pace kind of offense, and Golden State has actually set that example over the past couple years. And Harden is more of an ISO, more of a ball dominant kind of player. And he's great, don't get me wrong, he is an MVP player. I believe he's going to be a Hall of Famer and everything like that. So, but it's been tough not having Durant in the lineup and the whole Kyrie situation is unbelievable he's a part-time player who knows what's gonna happen in the playoffs and in the Eastern Conference yet it is a wider margin you know you can afford to lose some games but you don't want to get too comfortable you don't want to lose too many games and they're currently on a seven or eight game losing streak so do you guys think that this trade ultimately makes sense I would not want Ben Simmons on the court with a Kevin Durant and a Kyrie Irving and a Joe Harris and like those, that kind of team. I don't know if I want him delegating the offense because we all know what Simmons is good at, but we also know what he's bad at. So there are some pros and cons, but I do think James Harden in a pink and roll situation with Joel Embiid is a good deal, but can they keep Seth Curry? Can they keep... T. Thibel and Tyrese Maxey. I would be okay with letting go of Thibel, but I wouldn't mind having a little bit more shooting with Seth Curry and James Harden. So we'll see what we'll see what goes on. But make sure to let us know in the comment section below what you think about this, and do you really actually believe that James Harden is coming to the 76ers? Let us know in the comment section below, and we'll see you guys next time.